At the end of today's show, we'll share the names of several dealers we've already identified as better dealers, some from our own direct experiences and some from good experiences of car buyers just like you in our viewing audience. For several years, we've been building successful relationships with better dealers around the country. And using this evaluation method that we'll share with you today, we've referred car buyers to these better dealers and had many great outcomes. It's actually easier than you'd expect. Oh, yeah. And the good news is there's a relatively simple technique we'll lay out for you that we've used to make these good relationships happen with various better dealers around the U.S. Of course, many other car buyers had to visit these dealers before we did, but we found a way we've proven to be reasonably reliable. And while it's not perfect, it has greatly improved our odds of finding a better dealer. This method relies upon learning from the previous car buyer's experiences. That's what we're going to share with you today. Bottom line is, our better dealer review process involves the use of evaluating dealers based on Google reviews, and we think you should do this too. This technique involves not only looking at the raw score the dealer has accomplished, but also the number of reviews they have. The more reviews they have, the more reliable the information is. Also, if there are no recent good reviews, that's a red flag to us. Why? Because a consistently better dealer creates something known as a raving fan club by the professional and courteous way they treat their customers. Previous customers love to sing their praises. First, and most importantly, we'll share with you what parameters we're looking for, and then we'll give you some examples of how it all works. Yep. Number one is the overall raw Google review score, which must be 4.4 or higher. If it's 4.5, 4.6, or 4.7, that's even better. If the score is below 4.4, we pass over that dealer. Better dealers consistently get higher scores, which bring their average up quite high, and we're looking for consistently good service. Now, it's not to say a dealer with a high average score won't have a bad review or two. Read them and then see how the business responds. Exactly. Number two, the next parameter to look for, the more reviews, the better. If a dealer has been around for a while, there's no way they'd only have 25 to 50 reviews, for example. Also, that small number of reviews can easily be faked by having every employee in the company review the dealership with a high score. When I see that, I automatically pass. At minimum, it has to be several hundred reviews, and more than a thousand is even better. Thousands of reviews combined with a high review average is a great sign. Number three, the next step is to actually read some of the reviews. Yeah. Look for recent posts and check each review for details of how the purchase went. Not only are the details important to us, we are looking for the names of the people involved. An honest, good review of an actual dealership customer always names the person or persons involved. If you like what you read about the person, look them up on the dealership website and say, I saw you had a great experience with Katie recently. I'd like to talk to you about my vehicle. That salesperson will be very impressed that you did some homework and will be very inclined to give you the same kind of experience they gave Katie. Here's a classic example of what Kevin is talking about. This is Ferguson Buick GMC of Norman, Oklahoma. On Google, they've got a 4.4 star rating on 1,345 reviews. That's impressive, but also note, the first review is written by Ron Reber just 30 days ago, so it's recent. The details Ron provides are excellent. He wrote, My wife and I are both over the moon with our 2023 Buick Enclave. I worked with multiple dealerships before I found an honest and no-nonsense group to work with. I can highly recommend Ferguson Buick GMC of Norman, Oklahoma. Specifically, Tommy Duvall, salesman, and Heath Mead, finance. No pressure salesmanship, no junk add-on fees. I won't deal with any other dealership in Oklahoma ever. Some of the other dealerships in the area could learn some things if they followed Ferguson's example. Thanks for everything, Tommy and Heath. He closes by calling out the two people involved in his car deal by name. Right. Such a classic example of what we're talking about. He states what kind of vehicle he bought. He said he wasn't charged any junk fees. Very good to know. No pressure salesmanship. His salesman sounds like a great guy. He names the salesman who helped him, Tommy Duvall, and even names the finance officer who handled his deal, Heath Mead. He signs off by thanking them both. Friends, there's nothing fake about Ron Reber's review and his wife, Debbie, I might add. We coached them through that entire process. We're there every step of the way, and Kevin has even talked to Tommy Duvall since then. That's right. Here's another example, a dealer we've known for several years near Minneapolis. It's Schweder Chevrolet of Cold Spring. It's owned by Grant Schweder, and I have personally taken friends there. Their rating on Google is a 4.6 average. 
Very good. This is based on 695 reviews. So a healthy amount, given how small the city of Cold Spring actually is. Yeah. It's 78 miles west of Minneapolis, but worth the drive for Twin City car buyers. A recent review from a month ago by Anita Harris reads, We enjoy working with Lucas Sorum as he works hard to get us into a vehicle that has most, if not all, that we are looking for. He is so very patient and kind, communicates well, is personable, and isn't pushy. We also appreciate being greeted as we come into the dealership by other sales staff, even though we work with Lucas. Jeff is so thoughtful and comes to chat and joke around with us when he isn't busy. They named their salesman Lucas and know others there well enough that they mentioned Jeff by name too, right. and he wasn't even involved in the sale. Schweder Chevrolet will give you great service in a small town environment and overall friendly dealership. It's true that there are a lot of platforms that have reviews. Google reviews top our list of reviews for a few reasons. Just don't go to Dealer Raider. Ever. No, no, no. <laughs> First, we've been able to find many better dealers just by knowing how to read and evaluate their reviews. Nothing is perfect, but this definitely works. First up on our better dealer list is Hart Kia from Salem, Virginia, rated 4.5 with 611 Google reviews. Nominated by a homework guy viewer, Isaac A. He writes, I bought a Kia from Hart Kia in Salem, Virginia. I was out of state buyer. I negotiated everything over the phone with the sales guy. This was at the height of the chip shortage, but they didn't add any markups. When I went to pick up the car, there was no BS. The finance manager only asked me if he could run a credit pool to see if he could beat the rate I had for my own bank. He didn't even offer to sell any extended warranties or any of the snake oil finance managers usually push. <laughs> I also had great customer service with them after taking delivery. Next on the list is Earl Stewart Toyota from Lake Park, Florida. 4.7 stars with 4,899 Google reviews. And they were nominated by a homework guy viewer, best stock strategy, and also by Tom Stokel. I bought a Highlander from Earl Stewart, best car buying experience ever in and out in 30 minutes with the new car. They are very on point. Earl Stewart is great. No punches or surprises. Good old Earl Stewart. Yep, thanks Earl. Also on our list of better dealers, Mullinax Ford, multiple locations in Florida, 4.6 with 4,635 Google reviews, nominated by Homer Guy viewer, Tom Stokel. He says, Kevin, I've researched the dealerships in Florida. This is one of the good guys. No <laughs> fees, no addendums. Yeah, thanks, Tom. Then there's JM Lexus Margate, Florida. Rated 4.8 with a whopping 15,949 Google reviews. That's a lot. Yep. Nominated by homework guy viewer Tom Stokel. Kevin, I've researched the dealerships in Florida. This is another one of the good guys. No fees and no addendums. Next up, Hyundai of Central Florida, Lake County, Florida. Rated 4.8 with 3,306 Google reviews. Nominated by homework guy viewer Tom Stokel. Tom has done a lot of research for us on dealers in Florida and has submitted several of these. Again, no fees, no addendums. Definitely one of the good guys. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Wes Haney Chevrolet, Live Oak, Florida. They're rated 4.7 stars with 368 Google reviews. Nominated by homework guy viewer Tom Stokel. Again, Tom has done his research and told us that these are one of the good guys. No fees and no addendums. One of my Florida favorite to mention, Tomlinson Motor Company, used only. Uh, in Gainesville, Florida, rated 4.9 with 440 Google reviews. Nominated by homework guy viewer Tom Stokel. This dealership was one of the loud advocates for the FTC rules, if you remember that, folks. And again, no fees, no addendums. Six better dealers referred by Tom Stokel. Thanks, Tom, for putting in this hard work in Florida. We've had contact with Tom for many years and put great faith in his recommendations. Friends, if you're in or around Florida or don't mind traveling to Florida to buy a car, you can also ask us for a referral to our man, Sean, on the ground in Florida. He has over a decade of helping car buyers and he does an outstanding job. Next up, a dealer I've had direct contact with, Capistrano Mazda and Volkswagen, rated 4.8 with 980 Google reviews, nominated by homework guy viewer Tim L. I probably know better than others what a wonderful dealership Capistrano Volkswagen Mazda is because I have bought three cars in the last year from Miles Brandon's dealership. I've gotten to know Miles over the years as I own a coffee shop in town. Miles frequents, and I can tell you, you will not meet a more genuine, honest, caring, loving human being that happens to also sell cars. Yeah. I'm honored to call Miles my friend, and I would go to bat for this guy, just like he goes to bat for his customers and employees daily. Keep up the good work, Kevin and Elizabeth. Oh, thanks. Here is Clark Knapp Honda, rated 4.7 stars, with 4,133 Google reviews. Nominated by the Homework Guy team. Next up is Toyota Carlsbad from Carlsbad, California, rated 4.7 with 2,341 Google reviews. 
nominated by Homer Guy viewer DT. Toyota Carlsbad in California sold me a vehicle with no markups or add-ons. Give them a look. Next is another Florida dealer, AutoNation Toyota Winter Park, Florida, rated 4.6 stars with 14,142 Google reviews. Nominated by Homer Guy viewer Bob Smith, we had a great experience with AutoNation Toyota Winter Park. Their policy has always been no markups. They have no junk fees, and they were willing to remove $400 of add-ons. See, friends, the better dealers just comply when you ask. That's right. Mm-hmm. On our list for a long time, Longo Toyota, El Monte, California, rated 4.7 with 13,796 Google reviews. That's a lot. Nominated by Homer Guy viewer Carlos Hernandez Jr. May I nominate Lago Toyota in El Monte, California. I've been going there for 20 years. They are one of the very few dealerships that never charge over MSRP and don't automatically add any paint or interior protection on the sticker. Great overall experience. See folks, these are a couple dealers that didn't do markups during all of this pandemic nonsense. Great to remember. Awesome. Out to Kentucky is Bob Hook Chevrolet in Louisville, Kentucky, rated 4.6 stars with 1,314 Google reviews. Nominated by the Homer Guy team, we have a direct sales contact inside this dealership. Text to 701-441-3399 to be connected to Invoice Deals and our man on the ground there, Jake. And we did a show with Jake, so some of you might remember him. Totally. In Georgia, there's Cobb County Toyota. Kennesaw, Georgia, rated 4.6 with 5,011 Google reviews, nominated by the Homework Guy team. We love their no fees business model. In Oklahoma, Randy Bowen Chevrolet of Chandler, Oklahoma, rated 4.8 stars with 296 Google reviews, nominated by the Homework Guy team. We love their no dock fees business model. Out on the coast again, Empire Nissan, Ontario, California, rated 4.7 stars with 1,416 Google reviews. Nominated by Homework Guy viewer Richard Haghani. Wonderful experience and amazing caring people at this dealership. No forced add-ons, no premiums, no lies, no drama. Vehicle pricing is more than fair. Friends, many of these dealers we've highlighted today are examples that forced dealer add-ons, addendums, and ridiculous dealer fees are completely unnecessary. Also, when you sign up for a channel membership, one of the many things we can do for you is help you find a better dealership that's close to you. So don't worry if a dealer near you didn't come up on the show today. You just need to know the major cities nearest to you to do this, and we can get to work finding the better dealers to contact. All you have to do is ask. If you have trouble finding out how to join as a member, shoot me a text at 701-441-3399 and I will text you the join link. For the best direct help, we recommend going straight to the top level of membership with the Homework Guy Consults Package at $49.99. It is so much cheaper than anything you can find out there, and you get regular text message contact with both Kevin and me. When you sign up, if you text me first at 701-441-3399, I'll make sure you get Kevin's direct contact number. Also, any membership level can be canceled or downgraded at any time, so there's no risk and limited expense. If you recently joined the Homer Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And to all of our new channel members, we really love working with you. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homer Gal. The Homer Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go. You can't go! All the players are gonna die!